Hey, Lee Robinson here. I'm going to show you how you can mount a ammo can as a toolbox on any tractor that has ROPS. Now, disregard this lower mount here. This is going to be coyote specific, but you're not going to need that. What I did, because that allowed my ammo can to wobble for a toolbox, which I didn't want, I decided to go find me a piece of angle iron that had a bunch of holes in it and strap it here and then when I was done something dawned on me which I'm not going to change mine because mine's good to go but if you wanted to do this to any tractor all you have to do is take this angle iron and flip it over so the flat is on the top and if the flat was on the top you could put one here coming off this way and one here in the front coming off this way and run that across and then you'd have two flat pieces of angle iron that you can mount an ammo can to and bolt it in from the bottom and it'd be supported on the front and back of your ROPS. Now with my U-bolts, I put quarter inch fuel, fuel line around them so they wouldn't create any rub on my ROPS and prevent any rust. And the things that I like to keep in my toolbox include some extra hitch pins, some clips, some WD-40 rags, a big screwdriver, some crescent wrenches, my PTO shaft cover, a few odds and ends and things like that. So uh, with these extra holes here, you could mount speakers if you wanted to. Uh, you could put some extra blinkers if you wanted to. So this makes a nice dry box, uh, toolbox, ammo can uh, on the back of your tractor. Again, mine is mounted to those brackets that come off of my fuel tank, but I didn't want that wobble. So I put this extra support in there and it dawned on me when I was done. Wouldn't even have to attach it to your fuel tank. You could do this to any tractor with, uh, with two pieces of angle iron going across and it would be good to go. I hope y'all like the tip. Y'all take care.